Right, well, it's been about a week since the uh, boat came up. And we haven't been able to get out because there's been just too many big... Well, there's been some big storms. That's why the boat came in, because of the large storms anyway. Um, and the fact there wasn't any fish. Now, I'm going to head out. Um, it is flat at the moment, although there is quite a hefty swell, it seems, rolling. We should be right. It seems to be coming in a bit quick, but I think it's because it kind of goes downhill when the water comes in this bit. Um, but it's not a big tide, so... We shouldn't have to worry about the high tide, but we'll keep an eye on it, just in case uh, I got it wrong. But I'm sure we'll be fine. I've only got the small engine. I normally had put the four horse on, but I haven't run the four horse in salt water this year, so um, I don't really want to fill it with salt water. I've got to see what the fishing's like first, because if there's not much fish out there, which has been the case, I don't want to, like I say, fill the other one with salt water, because I've only got to flush it all out and clean it out again. So we'll go with this one for now. And... Um, We'll see. I mean, the four horse is better for going further out. We're not going that far out. But I do have some pots out here I need to check. And I brought one, just a one rod, and we'll give it a bit of a trail or a spin. See if there's anything about. Let's get going. Well, there's still one boat down. Well, there's actually two, a small one, but that small one over there stays down in the winter quite often, or he brings it up when it's bad. But uh, this one's still down. I wouldn't leave this down too long now. Because it's near that reef, and when you get big storms, you can get rollers coming over the top of that reef on real big storms. The last ones we had were coming from the other side, from behind the island, so it wouldn't have been too bad here. The trouble with the swell, it makes the water a bit murky, which doesn't make lure fishing good. But um, uh, we'll see when we get out there. Right, well, I've given it just the one trail. Uh, nothing's happened. Didn't expect much, to be honest with you. I can say it was very dead and you might even have a bit of weed on here, which is... Now we're near a pot, so I'm going to pull my first pot, and then I'm going to go around probably checking the pots. I don't want to leave it too late with the pots. We can fish afterwards again. Just wanted to try straight away to see we weren't missing anything. But I think we're picking up weed, yeah. This is the problem, you see, when this swell, it churns all the bits of weed up, and you just pick them up. All right, well... Let's get this pot over here done. Just going to cut up a bit of bait for it because it's going back down. So we'll be back when I've um, done that and we're ready to lift it. Right, cut up a bit of bait. since I've used the camera like this. Uh, uh, trouble you leave the weed on in it. Get rough weather, it can drag the pot or attempt to drag the pot. Okay. Now I've got a bit of conga bait down there. I kept a conga for this because the conga will last a long time as opposed to mackerel or anything like that which will literally be gone within a day or so. And the idea is not to be out here every day checking the pots check them every few days because like I say I'm not catching much anyway so I'll move to the middle for this now like I say this has been down a week so Caught a rockfish and a small crab, and that's it. There's the crab, there's the rockfish. 
Get that crab out. One crab. There we go. And the rockfish. And one rockfish. Or ballon ras. Right, let's get this baited up. Back down again. Right, next pop. The trouble is when I drop them back, I'm not going to be able to see where all the rocks and that are. Oh, I don't have the sounder and the tide's a bit high. Well, that's more murky than high to be able to see the edge of the reefs. So. It's kind of potluck these days when you come into the dinghy. Ah, there's a lobster in this one. Look at that beauty. I think that'll be size. Let's see if I can just get it through the trap. There we go. There we go. Right, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> bait this one up, throw it back down, and uh, try again. Two pots on this one. Uh, this brown, slimy crap off. It'll end up in the boat, but not much I can do about that. It's always the way at this time of year, your ropes are a mess. And these are the ropes. Well, this is a rope I was using this summer on this set. So. <clears throat> the single pots and that I change. This one. It's a small pot and it's, as you can see, it's only a D one. Stuff can get out of that one fairly easy. So. But it does catch and it's caught well. one pretty much little spider a little spider crab and a little shanker a little brown crab which has got hold of my glove don't worry my fingers are not in that let go in a minute eventually grip. Right, well I get this baiting them down again. I am going to bring a couple of pots in today. Um, yeah, these ones I'm not too, too worried about. I'll take these in another day. I'll take an, an, another set in. Because I will be bringing them in slowly. Because I've got too many out here anyway. I think I've got about 10 or 12, something like that. So I'm going to reduce that just to half a dozen.
Right. Next set. And again, there's two on here, and I think we've got two more sets. Maybe three more sets. They're over there anyway. I think they're all together, so. That's the trouble, you haven't been out for a week. Remember where you moved everything. Yes, I remember when I chucked it out that knot appeared. Oh, don't do that. There is a lobster, I think, or a fish. You can see it kicking in the weed. Find out if it's a lobster or a fish, and if it's big enough. It's a fish. I can see that. It's probably a rockfish. Yep, just a rockfish. I'm going to um, probably keep that one actually. I'm running low on bait, so prime lobster bait, rockfishes, or wrasse. So. I'll think about it. Let me just put that in for now. Let me get this one up. Actually, you know what? There you go. It's not a big one. I don't expect to get real big ones at the moment though. I'm mean, getting a few sort of medium, which is all right. But uh, we'll give them a chance. Just two little spiders, three little spiders in this one. Just those little weedy ones. They are so sharp, these things, they actually go straight through the gloves, the spines on them, or the spikes on them. And a weenie one. No, it's not the rubbishy set. Uh, which means there's a rubbishy set out there somewhere. Or is it? Actually, it is, even though it's got lobster. <laughs> Should be a small one, though, I think. Little lobster, small claw, probably under. Let me just check. The other one. Oh, where's my gauge gone again? I put it in the back here. I thought, ah, it's the there it is. It's gone around the back there. I thought it vanished again. Uh, it's actually size. We'll hold on to that for the moment. I might throw it back. But then I might keep it for myself. Because I do want a lobster or two if I can for the years out for the table this pot's obviously been spinning because I haven't got a spinner on it <laughs> I just tied it on the other day so. it's still caught cool, though anything in pot number two <laughs> nope just a spider Yeah, these are, this is the rubbishy set, fine. Now, I mean, it catches, but it's not brilliant. The pots are getting a bit knackered and that, these ones. 
this one's very small and open it does catch but uh, like I say if it's left down too long this one it will lose its catch because it's don't need that wire in there either right bait up and go again now I think I think this is the last set although there might be another one Top is I can't remember what I took in and what I didn't I'd have to cap well I'll check when I get home how many pots I've got but it's a funny feeling there's another set around somewhere but no so when you move them all around all in one go it's hard to remember where you put them all it'll be around I mean it's hard to see today because of the way the light is and the height of the tide but when the tide drops out on another day and we come out at low we should see and there's our newer plane the noisiest bloody thing on the island I don't know why they bought a jet just to go to England. Crazy. spider crabs. One. Two. I still can't believe I'm catching so many spider crabs at this time of year. I mean they're not edible you know, but it's just insane that they're still here. Normally they've migrated or gone wherever it is they go. But this year they don't want to leave. probably want to stay here. They probably think there's too many factory ships swallowing up. <laughs> they don't want to leave and run the gauntlet. And another empty pot. Oh well. Funny though, you're not even seeing shankers anymore. That, that's the weirdest thing. They normally your pots would be full of small shanker or brown crab. We're not even seeing those anymore. Don't know why. Wouldn't have thought they'd be the enemy targeted for any reason, unless lobsters are hungry maybe. Maybe the seabed's getting smashed up, who knows. Right, the question is, do I have any more pots out here? If there is, it'll only be like one set. I don't think I have, but... There's fish over there. I think it's long nose. Yeah, we'll tell our lure back in. There's a lot of weed over there, so I'm not gonna fish long, so now I'll just pick up tons of weed. We can. As soon as I saw some splashes, might be long nose. They should be around this time of year. They should have been around ages ago, to be honest. Normally you get them at late summer. You get an influx of them into autumn, but I haven't seen any this year yet. Right, well, I think I'm going to head in. Um, as you can see, the fishing's not happening. Or you may have seen it's not happening. Plus, on top of that, some big clouds coming this way, slowly. And they did give the possibility of fog, which looks like to be rolling over the point there. And I don't want to get stuck out in the dinghy and fog, so I've got no navigation. With me, or... I mean, we'd probably be fine, but it could be a pain in the ass in the fog. <laughs> especially in a small boat. Right, 
made it back. And the weather really is starting to close in on us. But we'll be fine. There you go, we've got a couple of rockfish for bait. And we've got our lobster. And there is another one. Somewhere. Under the seat. Yeah, I'll get him after. Easier to get him from this side, the bigger hole. Right, let's go and get the car. Found a shrimp in the boat or a prawn. Put him back. 